This video will show you how to access LAN School Air, explain several features of its interface, demonstrate how to add a new class, and show the various controls available while running a class. You will receive an email invitation to join LAN School Air from an administrator. Click the activation link inside this email to create your LAN School Air account. You may either create a password for the email address that received the invitation, or you can sign into LAN School Air using a Google account instead. If your organization integrates LAN School Air with Azure Active Directory for single sign-on, LAN School email invitations and activations are not required. Instructor accounts will automatically be created and activated. When users are provisioned from Azure Active Directory, you will enter your school email address on the LAN School Air sign-in page for authentication. The main screen in LAN School Air is the My Classes section, which contains a card for each class that has been created. This includes my first class, which is created for you the first time you access LAN School Air. Additional classes can be created manually, imported from your student information system, or synced from your Google Classroom account. The menu in the top left of the screen allows you to get to the LAN School Air help desk, send feedback to the LAN School Air team, and check the current LAN School Air version number. There may also be an option to sync your LAN School Air account with Google Classroom if it has been enabled by your administrator. Click the link at the top of this menu to navigate to the My Classes page. The top right of the screen has a Help Center button. This menu includes tutorials, feature guides, and quick access to support. Feedback options and links to additional training are also available. The top right of the screen also has a language icon that allows you to choose which language is used within Land School Air, a bell icon that shows you notifications messages, and a profile icon. Clicking the profile icon shows you which account is currently signed in allows you to switch between organizations if you are a member of more than one, and lets you sign out of LAN School Air. Edit your profile to change your password, manage your email subscriptions, or change your display name. Students will see your display name when you are chatting with them via LAN School Air. You can switch from My Classes to Device Cart to view classes that have been created by an administrator. Use the Filter button to show or hide classes and use the A to Z Sort button to sort class cards alphabetically. If the class you are teaching has not been imported into LAN School Air, you can create a new class on the My Classes page by clicking the plus button. Enter a class name and description on the Details tab of the Classroom Settings box. Click the Create Class button to build the class and unlock further settings. Use the Automatically Dismiss Class options to dismiss student devices at a specific ending time or after a specific amount of time has passed after the class has been started. Select one of the banner images for the class on the Details tab, or click the More button to see all available banner images. Select an image from the list and click the Done button to return to the Class Details tab. The Students tab of the Classroom Settings is used to add student devices into the class. Click the Add Student Devices button to open a list of available student devices. Select the student devices from the list that should be included in the new class. Search the list for specific students by student name or device type. If a student does not appear in the roster list, Land School Air may not be installed on their device. Check with your Land School Air administrator about getting the student added. Once finished making selections, click the Finish Adding button to add the selected devices into the class. Once class details have been entered and student devices have been added, you can click the Done button to finish setting up the new class. You may also choose to modify options on other Classroom Settings tabs. The Instructors tab is used to add co-teachers to the class to be able to monitor and manage a class together. Co-teaching allows multiple instructors to engage with the same students simultaneously in a collaborative and intuitive way. Co-teachers within Google Classroom or imported classes will be automatically added to those classes. Under Configuration, you can delete manually created classes. You can also choose to display the device name instead of the student name for that class. This is beneficial for organizations that use a single login name for all students. Click the gear icon in the corner of any class card on the My Classes page to modify class details, edit the student device roster, or use the Configuration tab to delete the entire class. If the class was imported or created by an admin, some settings may not be available. The web limiting feature can be configured to allow specified websites, block specified websites, or restrict all websites. The Allow Only option will block everything except for the sites included in the list. The Block Only option will only block the websites included in the list. Web limiting settings are specific to each class. You can either manually create a new list for your class, 
or import the web limiting settings from another class. These lists can include entire site domains such as google.com or specific subdomains such as docs.google.com. Using an asterisk wildcard within entries is also supported. An example of this is using an asterisk to indicate all subdomains under a specific site. Use the toggle switches to temporarily disable a specific item on the list. The My Class settings available on the bottom of the window allows you to change settings that are used for all classes. The blank screen setting allows you to enter a custom message and select a background for the blank screen feature. This message is displayed on student screens whenever blank screen is turned on during a class. Click a class card on the My Classes page to open the classroom interface. The main part of this screen shows tiles for all student devices included in the current class roster. While a class is active, this section allows the teacher to see which students are online and what their students are currently viewing. Student screens will not appear unless the student is online and LandSchool Air is properly installed on their device. To view student details during an active class, click the three-dot View Actions menu on a student tile and select View Student Details. If the student is using a Mac or Windows device, you will be able to view and close applications on their device. If the student is using a Chromebook, you will be able to view and close open tabs on their device. Keep in mind that closing applications or tabs might cause students to lose unsafe changes. If a student clicks the raise hand button on their device during class, a red hand icon will show up on the student tile in the LandSchool Air classroom interface. Clicking this red hand icon will lower the hand for the student. A red chat icon will appear on a student tile whenever they send a chat message to the teacher. Click this icon to directly open this message in the chat window. If a student is absent from class or otherwise does not need to be monitored, you can choose to exclude them from the current class session. Excluding a student will temporarily remove them from the classroom view and any commands issued to the class will not apply to them. Open the Excluded from Current Session section to re-include a student at any time to bring them back into the class session. If a student is currently being monitored in a different class, they will automatically be excluded from your class session. Excluded students are not removed from the class roster. The top edge of the classroom interface features the classroom toolbar. Exit class goes back to the My Classes page and ends the class if it is currently in progress. Start class will begin the current class for all student devices in the roster. The class can only be started within the active hours schedule that has been configured by an administrator. An active class will show the names of the active instructors in the classroom. The settings gear opens the settings page for the class, which includes the same options for class details, students, instructors, configuration, web limiting, and blank screen settings that are found outside of the classroom interface. Add devices is a shortcut to the Add Student Devices section of the classroom settings. Add registered student devices from the list or use the Add New Student tab to create a temporary access link that can be used to quickly install LandSchool Air on new student Windows or Mac devices. This option may not be available if your administrator has disabled the feature for your organization. Change Class View allows you to switch between Grid, List, and Group View layouts. While the class is active, this button also allows you to set Chromebook students to Active Tab View or to Desktop View. Other devices will always show as Desktop View. Sort students in List View by clicking any of the category headings. Select a student to view their screen and click the camera icon to save an image of their current screen. You may also see any browser tabs the student has open. Click on a tab to add it to the Allowed Sites list or to add it to the Blocked Sites list. You can also close tabs for Chromebook students. Use Group View to organize students into groups. Click the Add Group button to create a new group. Simply drag and drop student tiles into groups to rearrange them or use the three-dot menu to move them to another group. Click the Edit icon next to any group name to change the name of that group. Use the three-dot menu on the right side of a group header to access several group-related actions, including saving group screenshots or pushing a website to an entire group. The Change Tile Size button changes the size of the student device tiles when in the grid or group view mode. Use the Sort Students button to switch between automatic sorting and custom sorting. Automatic sort will automatically put student names in alphabetical order, with offline students placed at the end of the list. Custom Sort allows you to drag and drop students into any order. This custom arrangement is saved, allowing you to easily switch between automatic sorting order and your custom sorting order. The Push a Website button can open a website for all students in the class or for selected students. Use the Blank Student Screens button to blank or unblank screens for the entire class or for selected students. The blank screen message can be customized inside the class settings. 
The Limit Student Websites button will toggle the limiting feature on and off for the entire class or for selected students. The class settings determine which mode of website limiting is used. If a student attempts to navigate to a blocked site, a message about the site being blocked will be displayed for them that also includes a list of currently allowed sites. The Screenshot Students button will save an image of the current screens for the entire class or for selected students. The Share Screen button allows the teacher to share their screen with the class. Select a single browser tab, a single application window, or the entire screen and click the Share button to begin sharing the screen. While sharing, turn on full screen mode to keep students from minimizing or closing the broadcast on their devices. Make sure to click the Stop Sharing button to turn off the screen sharing feature. Click the Show Chat button on the right side of the classroom interface to open the chat window. If this feature has been deactivated by your organization, your chat icon will show a strike through it and you will be unable to use the chat features. Otherwise, you can use this window to send a message to the entire class or to an individual student by selecting one from the drop-down menu at the top of the chat window. Open the Options menu in the lower right corner of the chat window to turn off the chat notification sound, disable and re-enable chat for the class, or download the class chat log. Chat logs are not archived and must be saved before ending the class. Disabling chat means that students will not be able to send any messages to the teacher. When finished using the chat window, close it using the Hide Chat button at the top of the window. If automatic dismissal was set up for the class, the timer in the top right corner of your screen will show how many minutes are left until the class is dismissed. Click the Edit icon next to the timer to modify the amount of time remaining in the class. When the timer reaches only one minute left, an alert pop-up will appear warning that the class is about to be dismissed. Use this pop-up to extend the remaining time or dismiss the alert. When time completely runs out, the class will dismiss automatically. To exit a class manually, click the Exit Class button to return to the My Classes page and end the class for all connected students. Doing this returns the student devices to normal operation, removing any web limiting or blank screen restrictions that may have been active during class. For more videos, user guides, and FAQs, or to chat with a member of the Land School team, visit the Land School Air Help Desk at helpdesk.landschoolair.com.